Thank you guys for joining us. My name is Kelly Wells and this is Fashion Hub. It's been a week of interacting with one of our Kenyan designers. And uh, because this new se season, it's all about the people who make, you know, the outfits that we wear, the shoes that we wear. And we really want to know what it is they go through in, you know, actualizing those amazing, beautiful products. And today in studio, we have Oyeriki. It's one of that last, you know, episode, last part of what you do. And... Uh, when you talk about shoes, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you can't just give someone a shoe. Are there times that you find yourself the client wants you to recommend how they can wear that shoe? Yeah, well, we have, I have times where the client is spoiled for choice, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Indeed, yes. Yeah, but uh, it depends. It depends. It depends on their taste mainly because mm -hmm. sometimes some people are not on Instagram and they want a shoe. So they, mm -hmm. they like just recommend something that you think mm -hmm would actually um, project my personality as a, yeah, yeah. Me, me as a person, like, would actually, like, you know, fit me as a person. Yeah. 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 So for your collection, for your shoes, the different uh, designs, what would you say, or rather, how can you style them, according to you? Honestly, I've, I've never, I've never, like, really thought about the styling bit, because mm -hmm. my clients keep on surprising me every now and then. Uh -huh. when, just when you think it can be one with something, someone just does the total opposite. Mm -hmm. So, but for, mainly for me, it's, what I design, what I have in mind when I design, what I design is mainly the, it's a laid back look, just something laid back, but mm -hmm. something chic, something uh, interesting. You get something fashionable yeah. at, the same, at the same time, yeah? Mm -hmm. Chilled, but then again, fashionable. Yeah. So maybe you can rock a suit, you can be, uh, you can wear a shirt in them, mm -hmm. you know, for events, something just laid back, not in the office, of course, but okay, yeah, yeah <laughs> in an event, mm -hmm. yeah. So basically just whatever, what, 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 uh, it's, it's more of an event than a, mm -hmm. uh, Dressing, yes, yeah, it's more of, a, of an event where, where you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right. So, if I would use my expertise, you know, it comes to styling, I would say, like, Please for do. example, what I'm wearing <laughs> is just a simple short, a nice t shirt, and I decided to wear the gladiators. And also, if I had such an option like you was the one that you have, I would have also gone through with that. It's also nice, and also, yeah. you can decide to wear with pants like he has done. Yeah. And also one of other ways for the men, especially who can, who like this kind of slip on, uh, you know, nice, you can, you know, those kanzu kind of oh, yeah, outfit, kanzu. the kanzu, the long, you know, or even the shirt dresses for men with a nice fitting trouser, mm -hmm. you know, you can also wear them. So these are quite versatile, I would say that. Yeah, they're quite versatile. It's it's not like back in the days, the norm that you have to be in shorts to wear sandals. True, true, true. Yes, <laughs> you yes, can yes, practically yes. wear sandals with anything. Yeah, nowadays. and you, he has also talked about, you know, wearing with uh, suits. Yeah. That's another thing we did on on this last series, yeah. how to break down a suit. And yeah. one of the ways to break down a suit, definitely, when you break down a suit, definitely you're making it less serious. Yeah, you're less, making it less fun. Serious, yeah. And one of the ways to consider is shoes. Shoes, yeah. Shoes shoes can go a long way. A long, a, a long, long, long way. Long way yeah, yeah. Especially for men. Men, we only need to think of, you know, the shoes that we wear. Because yeah. ladies tend to think, to look at our shoes a lot. I do not know why. I think that the, that the first, I read somewhere, I don't, I don't remember quite what the quote was about. Mm -hmm. but it was about the first impression someone has about you, mm -hmm. other than your face, face is your shoe. Your shoe. Like, they usually grade you on your shoes yes. than the rest later. All right. Yeah. So now, mm -hmm. as you end up, who inspires you both in this industry and outside, outside this industry? I have a couple of guys who inspire me, but mm -hmm. for, for, for shoes mainly, maybe Nike. Mm -hmm. And then we have H&M. They really have nice sandals. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna style, mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of dig it a lot. The way she does, she incorporates herself, herself being a brand and mm -hmm. her products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that. And then Jeff Bezos, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you only hear of him whenever he's making money. <laughs> That's okay. where you want you know, to the, be. The kind of people you just... <laughs> Hear them by the name. You yeah. don't even know probably how they look. Yeah. And uh, now, when it comes to growing your business, because at the end of the day, you need people to know your name out there, to know what you offer. So, what are the measures that you put, or rather, how do you, or how have you made your business visible and known to people? Mm, so you mean marketing, yeah? Yes, yes. So for my marketing, I mainly do. I, I do friends mm -hmm. a lot. I do a lot of friends because I have friends who are quite stylish. So I use some of my friends. I use influencers as well once in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes word of mouth, mm -hmm. like if I sold you a sandal, kindly give me a shout out on your Instagram so, page because mm -hmm. I'm mainly online for now. I don't have a physical location yet, mm -hmm. but yes, I'm planning yes. to have one soon. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it's just word of mouth, uh, post on Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook once in a while, WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just basically that. And just, you've talked of celebrities and influencers mm -hmm. coming through for you. So oh, yeah, how much have they been? Yeah, they've actually the been 
of great help mm -hmm. because i feel like i feel like uh, as ke human beings just generally human beings yeah. when someone popular or someone who's done things it in is. the entertainment industry or maybe some some other industry that everyone associates with mm -hmm. uh like puts uh what do you call it stamp, it's a stamp of, on yeah that, like yeah. you know it's a good product, a good product. people product. run people run that direction and they really helped me out a lot yeah. Yeah. all right nice so for anyone who would want to get your products where would they find you uh you can check me out on instagram first mm -hmm. of all oye by ricky at oye by ricky mm -hmm. uh facebook oye kenya mm -hmm. And then my phone number should be somewhere here. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, and uh, I'm opening a store soon, pretty yeah. soon. We're still working towards that. Yeah. But for now, we, have, we are talking with different people. Just if you need to know all the details, just contact me. Yeah. I'll be so much happy to hear from you and make you a pair as well. All right. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, guys, you can definitely go share and comment and do whatever that you have to do. But we have to support our very own designers because yes. there's a lot of amazing things they are giving for us and also like i usually tell you you know on the other show attend every weekend there's an event happening and amazing thing by the way there's always an event happening that kenyan designers you they know are showcasing. they are showcasing their yeah. work so there's a lot of opportunities for you to go out there and find that which suits your style Others, guys, it's been a great time having, you know. Thank you so you much for having set, me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And your designs. And we shall keep on rocking your designs. Please do, please so do. keep on doing what you do. Thanks. And all the best in your endeavors. You too. And Thank on you the so, last so much. thing, yeah, <laughs> what would you tell someone there that is about to start something that they're so passionate about and they are scared? Just start? start, just start. I think just the key is just to start. You'll mm -hmm. figure it out as you go. Yeah, Because, yeah. uh, I don't know, procrastination, like, you, you don't have to have a lot of things figured out for you mm -hmm. to start something. Yeah. Just start with what you have, then it's going to build up. Mm -hmm. With time, experience, you don't just gain experience by sitting down and waiting for things to come. Yeah. You go out there, you get it yourself. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just basically it. You had it, guys, as much. It is a cliche being told, start, you'll learn, you learn as you go. Indeed it is, because yeah. Ricky for sure... But do your research though. Yes, yes, <laughs> and do your research. Yeah. So because for sure, it is all about learning and making yourself better. I've been your host. Until next time, hey... Keep it brand plus TV.